Disassembly tips. Ensure that you take the following precautions when disassembling a unit. Label each cable as you remove it, noting its position and routing. This will make replacing the cables much easier and will ensure that the cables are rerouted properly. Keep all screws with the component removed, if applicable. The screws used in each component can be of different thread sizes and lengths. Using the wrong screw in a component could damage the unit. If the unit contains light-sensitive components such as motherboard, memory module, CPU, hard disk drive, graphic card store the component in its original ESD packaging to avoid damage. Please read the description below for more details about tools used to removal and replacement, static electricity. Before you begin, remove the base enclosure and battery. Removal. Remove the speaker cable from the routing tabs on the touchpad button board bracket. Using minimal force, lift the locking bar up on the touchpad button board ZIF connector and disconnect the touchpad button board ribbon cable from the system board. Remove the touchpad button board ribbon cable from the adhesive that secures it to the top cover. Using minimal force, lift the locking bar up on the touchpad board ZIF connector and disconnect the touchpad board ribbon cable from the touchpad board. Remove the three 3mm P1 Phillips head screws that secure the touchpad button board bracket to the top cover. Lift the touchpad button board bracket off of the alignment pins on the top cover and remove. Remove the 3mm P1 Phillips head screw that secures the touchpad button board to the top cover. Lift the front edge of the touchpad button board and slide the rear edge out from underneath the tabs and cut out on the top cover. Remove the touchpad button board. Replacement. Tow the rear edge of the touchpad button board under the tabs and cut out on the top cover and lower it into position. Replace the 3mm P1 Phillips head screw that secures the touchpad button board to the top cover. Place the touchpad button board bracket onto the alignment pins on the top cover. Replace the three 3mm P1 Phillips head screws that secure the touchpad button board bracket to the top cover. Insert the touchpad board ribbon cable into the touchpad board zip connector on the touchpad board and press the locking bar down to lock the cable into place. Insert the touchpad button board ribbon cable into the touchpad button board ZIF connector on the system board and press the locking bar down to lock the cable into place. Apply pressure along the length of the touchpad button board ribbon cable to adhere it to the top cover. Route the speaker cable through the routing tabs on the touchpad button board bracket. Thanks for watching. Please click subscribe for more videos and weekly updates.